is just what the doctor ordered. Oh, I do hope these ropes don't break. Yeah, and I hope the snow monster doesn't get us either. Oh, Trix, what do you mean, snow monster? Oh, nothing. <laughs> but Trix, what kind of a monster is a snow monster? Well, let's see, y'all. Uh, it lives in the White Mountains. It's got really sharp teeth. It, it eats sun tots for breakfast, and... Uh, <laughs> Standing right behind you! Would someone tell me what is going on? Clarence! Oh. Yes, my little snow bunny. I'm not your snow bunny. I hate the snow. Now come and look at this. The sun tots are playing in the snow. They'll break their stupid little legs. That'll serve them right. Skiing is really stupid, stupid, stupid. Imagine enjoying the snow. Maybe you'd like snow too if you just tried playing in it. Play in it? How could I do a stupid thing like that? <laughs> well, it's funny you ask, dearest snowflake. That's why I built you this. Your very own snow sled. Hmm. Looks like a waffle iron on skis. But my little pancake, just think how romantic a nice drive through the mountains would be. Romance? But a nice drive in the crisp mountain air would be good for your complexion. What's wrong with my complexion? Oh, nothing, nothing, my little peaches and cream beauty. Then why should I go? And for it, it, well, it would be nice to spend some time together driving through the snow. Oh, Clarence, how sweet. Could we run over a few sun dots?
I know, Princess Leela, and that's not all. Look at that cliff. If that snow comes loose, we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> Did you see them sail? Right over the cliff! <laughs> <laughs> Look at those morons! I'm getting to like this snow stuff! <laughs> Probably never going to be the same. Faster, can you go faster? Can you drive any faster? We're going as fast as this thing can go. By the sound of that rumbling, I think the motor's led me to check up. Well, there's an avalanche nearby. Avalanche! Vibrations from the smoggy sled caused an avalanche. That's a good thing we can breathe under the snow. Some tots can, but what about the smoggies? Quick, everyone, get some shovels. Get Tom Turtle. We'll need his nose. Oh, my aching head. What happened? Oh, oh, I'm upside down. Clarence, come down from there at once. Well, I want sweetness, but my feet are stuck in ice. Oh, I feel like I ate a whole sack of coal. Where are we? We're buried alive in a cave, dummy. That's where we are. I'm not a dummy. She called me a dummy, Ralph. <laughs> I still don't understand why we're looking for those troublemakers. Now, Uncle Boom, the Smoggies might be in real trouble. It's our duty to help. It's awfully cold down there. I hope they're okay. Get me out of here! Oh, stop moping, Clarence. Hurry up with lunch for you, though. I'm starving. Nearly ready. We're missing only one ingredient. What's that? Something to eat. What? There's no food? Clarence? Yes, Lamb John? Please get us something to eat. If we wait for those stupid sun tots to find us, we'll starve to death. Hey, I hope you like frozen food. <laughs> Oh, it's no good. There's just nothing to eat in here. But I can't go back empty-handed. My sweet potato gets very angry when she's hungry. Clarence! <laughs> Where's my lunch? But my little chickadee, there's nothing to eat. Clarence, are your brains so scrambled that you can't tell a giant egg when you're sitting on one? Oh, my. I, I can hardly wait. Isn't that egg cooked yet? Just a few more minutes. <laughs> ah! A baby dinosaur! <laughs> Hanging plants and flowers make your home feel so welcoming, but they wither and dry without water and care. The problem is getting up there. Watering cans are heavy and leak all over you, and hoses are a hassle. What you need is the Easy Reach Plant Pulley. It's the quick and clean way to care for all your hanging plants. Easy Reach lets you lower and raise plants with just a gentle touch. Now when it's time to water, simply pull down the basket and Easy Reach holds the plant securely in place. Then push it back up when you're done. Easy down, easy up. The secret is the ratcheting pulley inside that locks tight right where you need it. Then smoothly retracts when 
when you're finished. Easy Reach clips onto any hook and accommodates every standard basket hanger. The super strong reinforced material extends up to 31 inches, so you can even grow two tiered baskets. It's great for growing vegetables in small spaces. With Easy Reach, you can lower your indoor plant to catch the morning sun, then raise them up and out of the way, or use it in the kitchen to keep fresh herbs handy without taking up counter space. Oh no, when you can't see, pruning and fertilizing is impossible. Easy Reach makes it convenient to keep plants healthy and vibrant without the mess. And there's so much more Easy Reach can help you do. Perfectly place outdoor decorations. Keep fruit baskets out of the way, yet easy to reach. Finally, organize the shed. Even keep camping gear high and dry. Stop reaching, spilling, and letting plants wither away. Order your Easy Reach plant pulley today. We'll send you not one, but two for just $14.95. But hang on. Order right now and we'll double the offer. Just pay separate shipping and handling. That's four Easy Reach plant pulleys, an incredible value for just $14.95. To order Easy Reach, please call 1 800 240 5685 or visit us at www.buyeasyreach.ca. <laughs> What a cute little guy. Pluto, get away from that monster. I... Oh, he's no monster. Don't be afraid of this little cutie. <laughs> hmm. If Clarence is frightened of it, then I'll better really scare the heck out of those stupid sun gods. I think this little whatever it is can help me get the magic coral. Yay! Catch it, Clarence! Catch it! Don't let it get away! Right away, dear! Like the Smoggies managed to get away. They certainly managed to excavate a rather mega circumference aperture through the snow barrier. And they made a big hole, too. Now, how'd they do that? Good question, Chip. I wish I knew the answer. <laughs> you need a name. How's about Stinky? Because you smell so clean. Mm -hmm. Paluto, stop goofing off. We've got work to do. We do? Yes, we do, you oaf. This is my chance to finally get my hands on that magic coral of youth. All we have to do is to make sure that Paluto's little pet is up to the job of scaring sun dogs. How's my <laughs> Vicious little monster, aren't you? Oh, good. That's just what I'm looking for. Clarence, Paluto, it's time to get to work. Now, here's the plan. Stinky and coral. What a beautiful day. I'll say, Princess Leela. Yeah, it's hard to believe that just three days ago we were all caught in the middle of an avalanche. Look, it's Captain Clarence. A lovely day, isn't it, Captain? Is it? Oh, yes. That's a lot of good stuff you got there. Yes, uh, uh, you can't get enough roughage, you know. I always say there's no fruits like uh, vegetables. Uh, good day. Now I know the Smoggies are up to something. What do you mean? Think about it, Chip. The only thing Emma hates more than fruit is vegetables. But Clarence has cleaned out Gardener Sun taught of all his fruit and vegetables every day since the avalanche. And the Stinky Poo's been awful quiet. No smoke or noise or anything. Hmm. Maybe being trapped in this snow cave has made them turn over a new leaf. Uh, what makes you say that, Uncle Boo? When I was a young son, Ted, I was trapped in a snow cave. I didn't know that. 
Was it scary? Being trapped like that made me so scared that I promised myself I'd change my ways if I got out. Maybe, maybe that's what happened to the Smoggies. Maybe they've changed their ways. Maybe, Uncle Boom. I sure wish I thought so. That's a good little guy. Eat up your vegetables. I can't believe it. It eats like Pluto. Hey, yeah. What kind of animal is stinky? If you two would stop for a second, I'd tell you. Now, let's see. Dimwit. Yes, Miss Emma? Quiet, Pluto. Here we are. Dinosaur. See, I was right. And it says here that this miserable excuse for a monster will take a hundred years before it's fully grown. I don't understand, my dearest. Why is it so important that Stinky be full grown? So that he can scare those miserable sun tots into giving me that coral. But now I have to wait a hundred years! Of course. You know there might just be one thing I could do. There is? Why, yes, my sweetness. Clarence Buddykins, if you have an idea, don't tell me about it. Just do it! Let me see now. What's next here? A pinch of this stuff, a poke of that. Now mix it all together and... Duck! Ooh, strong stuff. Now, let's see. Wait for solution to become crystal clear. When this happens, give the subject no more than three drops every hour. Hmm. Pluto, I'm going on deck for a nap. I want you to watch this liquid. Once it clears, give three drops to Stinky every hour. What's going on? I don't know what happened, but this stuff sure looks clear to me now. Hey, Stinky! <laughs> Do you want to grow big and strong like old Pluto? <laughs> Good. Now, I want you to open your mouth, because I got to give you, give you, um, uh, two drops every three, no, three drops every f four drops? Oh, what the heck? You gonna get big and strong? Now, you be a good monster and go to sleep, okay? Scaredy, you can't fool me with my own trick. Yay! Ah! 
are mixed up in this. Come on, I have an idea how we can stop that monster, but we'll need every taunt we can find. Clarence, somebody's taken Stinky. I swear I leave you alone for a second and my ticket to the magic corn gets kidnapped. Gee, who would have come and taken the little guy? Uh, no one, Paluto. What are you talking about, Clarence? The dearest patients, try not to get too excited. I made up a batch of growth potion and I guess it worked. But it must have been stronger than I thought. He was only given three drops. Now I remember I was supposed to give Stinky three drops every hour. I gave him the whole bottle. Oh my, oh my. That means he'll keep on growing bigger until the growth potion stops working. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Don't you oh dear me. That's what you get for giving a moron a boy's job. Oh, the snow monster's coming right this way! Okay, everyone, you know what to do. <laughs> Surrounded with rope! <laughs> Too soon. Watch out! He's growing bigger. Yikes! He's too big for us. What are we gonna do? Stop it. Come on! Get out of here, you little shrimp! We saw him first! Hey, be careful! <laughs> That's the last time I'm going to be nice to a dumb animal. Well done, big fella! You sure showed those smoggies! I bet you worked up an appetite. Want some more seaweed? Mm -hmm. Hey, let go. There's plenty more where that came from. Whoa! That's it, Speed. You know what to do. Now, throw the seaweed in the ocean. Okay, boy, go fetch. There's enough food in the marina to last a lifetime. <laughs> You'll never be a shrimp, that's for sure. Yeah, if you like seaweed, yuck. Are you sure the 
the monsters are okay now? Yeah, Scaredy. I promise he won't give us any more trouble. I dare say that's true. It's more than we can possibly hope to expect from those smoggies. Uh, uh we're out of smoggies anyway. Oh! Barking up the wrong tree again. Clarence, get me down from here. But my little coconut, the sunrise is so beautiful and romantic. Romantic? This would never have happened if I weren't such a softy. You and your romantic drive in the snow. Ha! That's the last time I'll be ruled by my heart. Get me 